Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Thursday, May the 25th. As all right. Mm, not too much happening, but let me let me get through it. Okay. <laughs> Remember how I said, I think Nina wants to confess. You know what? I'm saving Nina for last. Last. Let's go to Molly. We got a Molly replacement uh, temporarily for some reason. It's interesting. Yesterday we get a, the new Christina, the permanent new Christina, and I like her. She fits. To me, some of the characteristics are, are, are Christina's. I think she studied the character, you know, to kind of ease us into her, but she fits. Um, this Molly is too tall, but she fits too for temporary. I want the other, Mo Molly has been Molly since she was, what, seven years old on this show, eight max, say Molly. So look, you get a breather, but whatever's happening, we want you back, Molly, <laughs> original Molly. So um, she tells, Molly uh, tells her family, Alexis knew, but Molly's telling Christina and Sam and Christina is just running off at the mouth, running like she always is. Well, remember, well, that's just Molly. Molly will figure it out. It'll be okay, Molly. You, and, and Molly is just, she clearly couldn't read the room. And Alexis kept saying, Christina, no, no. Well, what? What is Molly? Molly finds a problem. She tackles. Oh, and Molly's like, Christina, could you just shut up about this? And Molly goes out. And Christina's like looking at Sam. What? What did I say? So Sam has to talk to Christina about tact, you know, and then Sam tells Christina, Christina, I do believe in you and I do support you. And so they kind of go over, you know, the whole Christina and her project issue, smoothing things over. And she's getting her to see that Molly can't fix this. She can't control what's happening to her. And she needs some sympathy period. She needs them to just be there for her. So Alexis goes outside. She's talking to Mar Molly. And it was so interesting. She goes, now, you know, I was a very accomplished lawyer. This is at the end of their conversation. She says, Molly goes, what does that have to do with anything? She goes, I can hold you like your mother or help you unpack and compartmentalize this like an attorney which one of me do you need i liked that because she's like look i'm prepared to do both right be it w whatever you need and so molly just leaned into her mother and was crying on her shoulder and alexis goes mom it is i thought now that was that was too da gosh darn cute i really liked that nice little emotional moment. Now, guess who dropped in? Guess who dropped in? Stella. Stella hasn't been back since Valentine's Day, the wedding. Oh, wow. So we do that, right? We avoid our nephew thinking time and space is going to have it go away versus Stella's a head on take charge kind of girl. I'm surprised she did not, for one, they should have had her stay and talk to Curtis after the wedding. Please come on now. So she comes to TJ first. She sees TJ's just, you know, upset. He tells her the story. She gives him emotional support and she lets him know he can't fix this. Molly this is yes, it's happening to both of you, but as a woman, it's going to hit a woman harder, right? Because it's happening to her body. Okay. And she goes, just love her. That's it, TJ. Let her process it. Be there, but don't try to fix it. Because she has to be the one to emotionally and mentally wrap her head around what's happening. But you being by her side and just being there with her is what she needs. So it was a really good talk, almost like a, a mother. You know, Stella took on that that talk. TJ should have been confided in Jordan, calling up mom, mom. I need to see. I need to speak to you. I need to see you. 
you know, but Stella popped up at the door. So, you know, next best thing. And Stella goes, <coughs> ask TJ, how's Curtis? TJ looks at her. Oh, getting the lay of the land, I see. And so he lets her know what's happening. Curtis and Portia hadn't been together, even though Curtis is at the hospital. Telling Portia that he, you know, he feels that it's at least worth a try to see if they could get their marriage on track you know, and so he was saying he was thinking of moving in, and Portia, of course, is taking that. Of course, she wants, you know, yes, I'll take what I can get. He goes, I'm moving into the guest room, though. She goes, fine. I'll take baby steps. You coming back into the house? We're going to work on this, because she says, okay, what do we do? Do we start dating again? Do we need to go see counseling? Do we, and he goes, he goes, well, first, just let's, let me move back in. So he's going to stay with her. And now we got Jordan outside talking to Anna and she's telling Anna, you know, that her and Curtis kissed and, you know, she still loves Curtis and, you know, would have went further if she hadn't stopped it. And, you know, she doesn't know what she wants to do. I mean, she, she still wants Curtis, but Curtis is married, right? He is married. She said, and so she told Jordan, she, so no, Anna, not Jordan. She told Anna, she said, you know, Anna, do I try to take back what was mine? You know, can I do that to another woman? You know, just blow up her life? Jordan's not going to. She really isn't. You know, come on, Jordan. You and Curtis been divorced for what, two years? Well, really one, because Stella hid the divorce papers. But realistically, two years. That ship has sailed. Leave it alone. Don't even deal with it. Let let it be gone because Curtis is going to stay, especially once he finds out Trina is his daughter. Oh, that's a happy family. Jordan is not going to come in between. So now we have Sonny. He, he's coming to pick up Donna. He's getting ready to tell Carly. He goes, you know, Carly, I've got some news to tell you. And she goes, you're getting married. And he looked at her. He goes, well, news travels fast. She goes, no, I was at the Metro Court last night. I saw you. And he's like, oh. So he said, but I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to tell you. She goes, no, it's your life, you know. And so they're talking about, he's talking about, you know, her SEC case. And he told her, he goes, you know, Carly, I got something I have to tell you. The feds may be coming after they're I feel they're coming after me, but through you. He says, you know, because I'm the big catch here, who you were married to. And so she says, yeah, Diane already told me that she's been approached and they would do a deal if I would turn state's evidence against you. And he says, do it. And she looked at him and she said, uh, I'm not going to do it. He, he said, Carly, I do not want the mother of my children to go to jail, period. Me, on the other hand, he says, oh, I'll fight it. I'll have Diane. I have a better change. He goes, I'll get off. I'll deal with it. He goes, but I, I don't want you doing any time. And she says, Sonny, look. I'm not throwing you under the bus. That's absolutely out of the question. I did do this and I'm going to have to face the consequences. She says, what? It's not going to be Pitt and Ville. She goes for insider trading. It'll be, you know, a, a, a nicer uh, a white collar jail. And what? I'll spend a couple of years there. He goes, she goes, I won't like it. I won't like being away from 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 my from my children at all, my family, but I will deal with the consequences, Sonny. And then she says Diane brought up another option, and that was to throw Drew under the bus. And Sonny's like, "Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he want that, right?" She goes, "But I'm not doing that either." Drew tried to talk me out of it, and he goes. She goes, Ann, and he goes, you did it anyway. He goes, she goes, and Michael too tried to talk her out of it. She goes, and when they tried to talk you out of it, that made you do it. <laughs> you know, he, they know each other too well. 
And so he told her, he said, okay. He says, so we got to think of something else. And she goes, Sonny, this is my mess. He goes, no. Oh, no. She goes, we're going to think of something else. I'm going to think of something else. Because it's not an option for you to go to jail. That's not an option for me. And she's, you know, she, she knows he has her back. Frontwards, backwards, you know, that they are like that with each other. They truly, truly are. And so we'll see what's going to happen. Now, we've got Ava and Nina. Those two together. Now, Ava was trying. You know, remember I said, Nina, Nina's thinking about telling the truth. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Nina, everybody. Nina is doubling down. Nina is trying to figure out a way to make sure Carly goes away and goes away for as long as possible. Because once I get her out of the way, that clears a path, you know, that clears the way so I can forge a relationship with my daughter. Forge, see? Mm, Nina. And so she goes, because Willow won't have Carly to turn to and all she'll have is me to turn. That don't mean Willow's going to turn to her at all. Willow's got Michael. Willow's got Olivia. Willow's got Sasha. But Nina feels like, as she said, why should Carly always end up with a fairy tale life and we all end up with nothing and Ava's kind of like well I, I don't see her with the fairy tale life but I mean Carly does come out on top a lot of the times but you know, I don't know about fairy tale, you know and she's like you know Nina with you actively trying to sabotage Carly you do know you're putting everything in jail see because she's supposed to be anonymous right but she gonna go out now and try to create situations and circumstances and it's gonna actually when you start adding up A and you start adding up situations in B situations in C it's gonna all come out to the situation in INA right she couldn't leave well enough alone. She may have been able to be anonymous. Well, no, Ned is on the trail for that. She, that, that That's going to come out. But now it's also going to come out. Sonny is going to now see all the links, the length she's going to, to sabotage Carly. And that's her own undoing and good for her. Good for her. I can't wait. She's already said, no, we got to put the seed of doubt in Drew's, Drew's mind that Carly's getting ready to turn him in, to, to turn him into the SEC. We got to turn them against each other. And I was like, okay, you, you know what? You putting your hand not only on the fire without a, a, a hand little, you know, pot muffin holder or, or what do you call those things? Um, Pan holder, you you just want to get burned, Nina. Want to get burned. And burned she's going to get. That's going to be a great day. And I can't wait to do a recap on that story. That day when it, when it hits the fan, everybody. I might have to come on with no pictures. Because I'm going to be so got to tell the recap that day. So anyway, that's it. Nothing else really happened. I mean, that was absolutely it. Um, yeah. So let's go to Comic Corner, Comic Corner. Marsha says, I loved the old Christina, but I love Kate Manzi. A great actress from Days of Our Lives. She came in hitting. She does look like she'll fit in very well. This girl is a mess and they selected wisely with her. Thanks for your review. Actually, I think she does. I mean, I accepted her right away. Sabrina said, excellent recap. I need this Nina storyline to be over. It's getting worse every day. 
I don't see how the character Nina is going to survive once everything comes out, but it is a soap. Deborah says, the truth about Nina is going to come out. That's too big of a secret to stay quiet about. Wonder if Gladys somehow gets uh, her hands on the tape of Sonny uh, taking the Pikeman, uh, talking to Pikeman group and sells it to Wu. Uh, and Carly still loves Sonny and he loves her too. They can't admit it. Drew just has just a distraction same for Sonny and Crazy Nina. Deborah also says, wondering what Gladys going to do to delay or stop Sasha from getting her independence back. Do you think she'll set her up with drugs or possibly give Sasha something to set her back? Gladys, uh, be that cold to Sasha, question mark. Cody needs to spill the beans. Gladys will try to sabotage Sasha. Because right now, Gladys is feeling like, you know, it's her own self-survival at stake. So she's going to do something to sabotage Sasha. N.K. Rose says, Nina is so man manipulative. If I was Ava, I would be more cautious over Avery and Nina's, uh, Avery probably with Nina's at attachment issues. Krista says, Nina to Sunny, you're all mine. Just what you always wanted. Krista also says, I liked Kate Manzi. I like Kate Manzi as Christina. So far, so good. I absolutely approve. Uh, I think I'm going to love her and she'll fit in nicely. She resembles, resembles NLG uh, quite a bit. Are you, is that the initials for the other actress? Maybe. I forgot her, her name. Uh, Ron says, Phyllis. In Nixon Falls, and Nina just lost her hold card. Uh, the baby overhears conversation and snitches to Sunny. Then Diane realizes Carly still loves Sunny because she won't throw him under the bus. When did you see uh, Avery overhear the conversation? I didn't see Avery anywhere. So uh, we'll see. But that would be good if that's what happened. And then Lucy says, Molly should have shared with her domestic partner, TJ, who's a medical doctor, about her symptoms. Perhaps things would have been different. Molly is young and not too knowledgeable on medical issues. Well, I don't know, ladies. You know, sometimes some periods are crampier and more painful than others, but realistically. And she probably was saying, you know, it's that time of the month, TJ. I'm like, she probably laying there, you know, oh my goodness, my period started and, uh, you know, and, and what do, what do guys normally do when you say that? Oh, okay. And they're about their business. I mean, her symptoms were getting worse. She was probably getting to the point to where she was going to say, now, you know what? This is getting to be all the time now, Right. The only way she found out is they decided out of the blue they wanted to have a baby. So I I mean I'm I'm not saying that Molly shouldn't have gone to the doctor. I just I just don't feel she really knew that the extra cramping, the extra, you know, bleeding and, and all of that was caused to go to the doctor, you know. And Sheila says, Nina's friend that Sonny brought the bar for is Phyllis. Yeah, that's right, Phyllis. I forgot her name. We haven't seen Phyllis in how long? Look, we see Phyllis about as much as we see Aunt Stella, don't we? That's about as much as we see Phyllis. Hello. Less than reoccurring, right? It's, look, we got you for another day spot. That's it. So anyway, that's it for Comment Corner. Comment Corner. Uh, I will be back tomorrow for another daily recap of General Hospital.